What's up YouTube? This is Print Practical. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add custom thread sizes to Fusion 360. So let's hop on the computer and let's get to work. So I was using Fusion 360 the other day and I'm working on an adapter for a coworker. And I noticed that the thread tool does not have a M48 by 0.75. The lowest it goes is to a 1.5. I was looking into how to do this and it's actually quite simple as long as there's some other smarter people that do the hard work for us. I came across this GitHub page which has a XML file and this declares a bunch of custom thread sizes specifically for camera filters. And I looked through here and it doesn't actually have the size that I needed but it did have uh, some instructions which tell you or at least link you to a page on how to do this install of an XML file. So that was good. Um, and then I ran across this astrophotography form and uh, Paul Gerlach, I'm probably messing up that last name, but he happened to make an XML file which has both of the thread types that I need, which is an M48 by 0.75 and an M20 something by something, doesn't matter. Um, so he had a XML file linked here, which I downloaded. And then I'm also gonna download this camera filter uh, profile off of GitHub just to install it because I have some friends that are in photography. So if I ever need to prototype anything for them, I will use this. So we have our XML files, let's install them. Okay, so open up your file explorer copy your XML files that you either created or you found online. And then you are gonna wanna go to your app data folder. So I'm just gonna go to users, my username, app data. I think app data is a hidden folder too. Um, and then local, Autodesk, web deploy, production. Now, I'm going to talk about this in a few seconds, but I'm going to just show you where you're supposed to paste uh, these files first. All of these folders have very similar contents, but they are different revisions of Fusion. I just know from trial and error that this is the version that I'm on. So I'm going to double click this. Um, and then I'm going to go Fusion, Server, Fusion, uh, configuration, thread data, and then these are the XML documents that specify the current threads that are supported by Fusion. So now I can paste my two XML files in there. And then let's just test by closing Fusion. Okay, so Fusion is reopened. Let's go to our thread tool here. And then let's look at our thread types. And as you can see, we now have a Astro ISO metric and we have a camera filter metric profile. Um, so that's perfect. Now I can click on one of those and you can see it has the new thread that I needed, which is 48 by 0.75. Now they put a string in their XML file to just say it's a two inch filter thread. But if we go back to the downloads and take a look at what is actually in this XML file, if we go down to the two inch filter thread, you can see that it's got a pitch of 0.75. Um, so that is the thread I needed. We successfully added the uh, new thread profiles to Fusion. So now we can use those in our projects, which is awesome. Okay, so we're back to the production folder, and this shows a bunch of folders with weird hashed names. And I don't know what these actually represent. It could be Fusion version numbers that are hashed in some way. Um, but every time that your computer gets a new update of Fusion, it probably creates a new folder here. And um, one of the biggest problems I had when I was trying to add some custom threads to my Fusion was that I found the folder that was most recently modified and I assume that that was the latest version. So if I go into there and you know fusion server fusion configuration thread data 
you can see I have my custom camera threads XML in here. So I went and I restarted Fusion 360 like three or four times and I was trying to figure out why is this not showing up in the tool. And then I just decided, well, I'm gonna try doing the second last modified. And I went in there, it has the same exact, you know, folder structure as the other folder did. So I go back in there, configuration, thread data, and I ended up putting my XML file in here and it worked perfectly. Um, so just make sure that if you try it the first time and it doesn't work, make sure you go back to that production folder, go into a different directory and add it there um, just to ensure that you know, you're covering all your bases and hopefully it works. Now, if Fusion goes through another update, you may see that your custom thread profiles will go away. And that's because it's going to create another folder structure for this new update. And you're gonna to have to actually manually go in and copy those XML files to the new version. So hopefully this helps you out. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. And thanks for watching.